I got it. Here's the plan. When I'm talking, de rigged everything, broke everything down. Part of the cage has been taken apart, engine has been removed, fuel tank, batteries, all that's been taken off. And the reason being, you gotta modify the cage. What I plan on doing is putting bigger props, and I put bigger props, I gotta move the engines outboard. The first thing I gotta do on this side, I gotta replace the corner, to give it just a little bit more room for the carburetor. Right now, when I move it over, the carburetor is gonna hit that corner. And then what I gotta do back here, gotta cut this in half, take all these rungs off, and we're gonna move this section up four inches. We're gonna move the driver's stand, we're gonna move it up four inches, and we're gonna put everything back together. And I think that's gonna help solve the, the weight issue. And uh, right now I gotta take, take the props, take them apart, get them ready to ship back. And we're gonna get those replaced. And then on the back of the engine, I need to figure out how to put me a pulley between that gear and the back of the engine so I can put me a little alternator. Definitely gonna need an alternator on, these, on this setup. To run the uh, to, to keep the fuel pump going and to run the lights. Hey, yeah, guys, that's where we at for now. Uh, we got a little bit of work. Take one step forward and about four steps back, but we're going to eventually get it. Uh, appreciate y'all hanging around though. All right, there we go. We got the first the cage modified. Threw the engine up there. All that looks real good. So you just gotta gotta clean up the wells a little bit. Get some more paint on that. And that part's gonna be done. Then we gotta cut all these rungs out and get all that replaced. And we need to move the engine stand up. And four inches, like I say, not gonna be too bad of a job. But, uh, still getting a mess in here with all this stuff. I guess it's all part of the game. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get this thing finished up so I can get this my carport cleaned up because uh, it's a total disaster in here. All right, guys. This is where we at. I decided I'm only going to go up three inches instead of four. But uh, this is what it takes to move three inches. A little major job. But I think the major job gonna pay off in the end. Making some headway. Uh, pretty much 90% rebuilding the, the prop cage. No big deal. We're gonna change up a couple of things on it anyhow. Let me get back to work with this guy, but that's where we at. All right, here we go. Got the cage all dismantled. All the old rungs cut out and prepped. You may start going back in with the new stuff. Looks like all the, like the harder work is done. It looks like I may need a kind of tweak on the cage just a little bit. That's where we at, huh? I think we're gonna be all right.
what I'm having to do to fix that stuff is, uh, let me show y'all. I'm having to take and sand all that wetland off them boards and, um, uh, it don't sand exactly easy, guys. And uh, what I'm doing to replace it, I got me some seed deck that I'm putting on the boards. Is that going to work? I don't know, but we're going to find out on that too. But guys, if I tell y'all something don't work, it don't work. Uh, let me get back to working on this stuff and get that finished up where we can get that uh, boat back on the trailer and finish putting it back together. All right, here we go, guys. I got the trailer all finished up. Got that deck foam on there, that seat deck, whatever you call that stuff, on the boards. Get rid of that slick stuff. Hopefully that's going to take away some of that slipperiness and have a little bit of control. I got the driver sand all moved forward on it with three inches instead of four. In order to move all that forward, I had to take and re rebuild a cage. I had to widen up the, the back side of the, of the cage a little bit. And to do that, I had to cut all the rungs out and put new rungs in. Then I took and I wire wheeled all the old paint and stuff off, and now I'm trying some uh, some undercoat. And what also I did, I put some of that uh, that uh, seat deck stuff on there, see if that's going to stop some of the vibration. But what I'm worried about what's going to happen when it comes time to bolt that back together, I might have a little bit of an issue with it. Might not be too bad. But we're going to let that dry. And after that's all dry, we're going to start bringing it back up. And hopefully the props will be in before too long. And uh, hopefully the alternator is going to get here. I, I got to make a bracket for that. 